Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to parameterize a test by using an inbuilt marker in PyTest. So let's get started. There's an inbuilt marker in PyTest. On providing or specifying this inbuilt marker before a test, the test can be parameterized. What do I mean by parameterizing a test? That means the same test can be executed the number of times that you are passing the data. If you are passing multiple sets of data, let's say four sets of data, the same test is going to run four times. If you are passing 10 sets of data, the same test, which is parameterized by using an inbuilt marker in PyTest is going to run 10 times. Okay, this is what is called as parameterization where the test will be converted into data-driven format. Okay, so which inbuilt marker in PyTest we have to use for parameterize a test? so that it can run that many number of times that are equal to the number of sets of data that you are passing to the test. The marker is nothing but parameterized marker, parameterized marker. So let me practically demonstrate this marker for you. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm IDE where we have the sample Python file under this project. I would like to run one of the tests by parameterizing it. Remaining two tests I'll remove here from the previous uh, demonstrations. Uh, there were three tests here. So I have removed uh, two out of three tests. So only one test is there. And that single test I would like to parameterize. So for that here, I have to use an inbuilt marker known as mark.parameterize. Okay, this is what? Para, P-A-R-I-M-E-T-R-I-Z-E. -E. There is a spelling mistake here. You can see P-A-R-I-M-E. After M-E, T-R-I-Z-E. Okay, this is what is the actual uh, inbuilt uh, marker name, parameterize. Okay, now after you specify this, then what you have to do here is you have to provide circular brackets. Okay, after this marker, just provide the circular bracket and in that provide double quote. Okay, in that provide double quote and write down the names of the parameters. That is, for example, username, password are the two names I would like to give. You can give any names here, A, B, A, comma, B also you can give. After this, put a comma. After this, put a comma. After these double quotes, which uh, which have the uh, you know the number of parameters, so after that put a comma and provide circular brackets a list. This is nothing but a list in Python. In that provide circular brackets. The number of circular brackets should be equal to the number of data that you would like to pass. How many sets of data you want to pass? Let's say I would like to pass three sets of data. So I provided three circular brackets. In that again provide uh, one double quote for username, one double quote for password one double quote for username in the second set of data and one double quote for password. Here, because there are two parameters. Third circular bracket again for username double quote, for password also double quote. Now fill the double quotes. So let's say I would like to fill like this, Arun. Password is one, two, three, four. Okay, then Varun, here also the password is one, two, three, four. Here, let's say one more uh, username that is Tarun and here the password is one, two, three, four. Like these three sets of data are there. Okay, I have used this inbuilt marker known as parameterize and I supplied three sets of username and password. Okay, this is the format we have to provide. This is how the marker inbuilt marker has to be specified. Now, there are two parameters, right? The same two parameters you mentioned in the test method. Username, comma, password. This is a way to parameterize a test. Okay, so here for printing, write down print. I would like to print the same username and password. So I will say username plus I would like to give an iPhone here for just for printing purpose and password. Like this you give. And now, after giving this, go to the terminal. Now run this particular Python file having this single test, but it is a parameterized test, which is going to run how many times? Three times because I am passing three sets of data in parameterizing this test by passing three sets of data. So this test, single test, that is test sample one is going to run three times. The first test, first run, Arun will be passed to username and one, two, three, four will be passed to password and they will get printed here. And uh, in, in the second run, Varun will be passed to username, one, two, three, four will be passed to password and it will run for the second time by printing Varun one, two, three, four. And uh, for third time, the same test will be run by passing this uh, third set of data, Tarun will into username and one, two, three, four into password and they will be printed. This is how the test will be running three times because of three sets of data. This is a way to parameterize. Now let's run this. So already the focus is there under the sample package where this uh, file is available. I'll simply write on PyTest 
space, the name of the Python file I would like to run, test sample file.py, right? Test sample file.py under which this test uh, parameterized test is there. Here I'll say hyphen V or hyphen R, anything you can use and press enter. You see the three, uh, three times the same test got run. Test sample one, test method got executed how many times? One, two, three times. You see, three times it is passing. And the first set, Arun1234 has been passed. In the second set, Varun1234. Third set, Tarun1234. Okay. And if you would like to see the output, better to uh, run this command with uh, instead of hyphen V, you just say hyphen RA. You'll get the proper output also. I'll simply say clear and say PyTest. The name of the Python file you want to run is sample file.py file and hyphen RA. You see, three passed and you'll get the output also. You see, when test sample one got executed for the first time with this uh, set of data, it printed Arun1234. Okay, the print statement has printed username hyphen password. That is Arun1234. The second run, the same test method has printed Varun1234. And in the third run, the same test method has printed Tarun1234. Three times it got executed. This is how we can parameterize a test with the help of inbuilt marker in PyTest. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.